Welcome back to part two of the Motorhome Channel. Now imagine, if you will, that you're a horse. You spend most of your life in a field, but every now and again, you need to go to a race or a gymkhana or some other event where you're expected to perform at your very, very best. Well, you don't want to travel up the motorway in some tatty old trailer towed behind an ancient Land Rover. You want to travel in style. And when you get to where you're going, you want to be able to get out and relax. Perhaps make yourself a cup of tea or even watch television. Of course, if you are a horse, you won't have a driving license, will you? So you won't be able to get to where you're going. You need humans. So if you are a horse, you can switch off now. This bit is for humans only. And I think you humans are going to love what I'm going to show you. Have a look at this. Well, the horses live down there. Us humans live up here. And look at it. It's very, very spacious, which is good because it's designed for four people to live in. This seating area pulls out to become a bed. And there's another bed up here. Look at that. That's what you call an overcab bed. It's very, very nice. It's got lights at both ends as well as windows at both ends. Very sensible indeed. There's plenty of room for sitting down and lounging after a hard day at the races. And of course, at that time, you may feel that you want a beer. In which case, no problem, because there's a beer fridge right there. Ah, but I hear you say, I don't like beer. I want a glass of wine. No problem. There's a wine cooler right here. There's a fridge down there and a freezer. There's a microwave oven. There's a proper oven and a hot plate here. And loads of food preparation area. Uh, no hamburgers, please. <laughs> Look at this. The TV is a 40-inch model. And of course, it's 3D. Now, then the thing about the habitation side of this vehicle is the sheer attention to detail. It's incredible. To prove my point, look at this. Five remote controls and each one with its own individually crafted holder. I have never seen that before. Mind you, I've never seen five remote controls before. Let's go downstairs. Oh, look, a vertical toast rack, and it's heated. What a great idea. And here is the bathroom. Well, it's not often that I'm lost for words looking at a bathroom, but... This is where the horses live. And there's a lock on the door so they can't come in. Let's go and look at the front of the vehicle. Sitting in the driver's seat is a little imposing. There are knobs, buttons, or switches everywhere. But of course, this is a Scania truck. Having said that, it's surprisingly easy to drive, thanks largely to the fact that the gearbox is fully automatic. And there are huge mirrors which give you great visibility all around, and of course, a rear view monitor. It's comfortable as well because the seat is fully air suspended. It really isn't that difficult to drive. How much does it cost? Well, for a truck like this, you can expect to pay anything between 250 and 500,000 pounds. But think about it. If your horse wins the Grand National, money well spent. Coming up next, Claire Kelly with our travel feature. 